people are considering implants, there's a number of uh, pros and cons. Um, uh, specifically for the advantages, is it's it's typically a more simple surgery than some of our alternatives. Um, if a tissue expander has been placed, then we go back through that same mastectomy incision, we remove the tissue expander, and the implant goes right in. That can be done in potentially an hour. Um, so it's a relatively quick surgery, minimal downtime in the sense of, of pain and recovery. Um, and the implants can, can look great. It can give a very youthful breast. Um, that being said, there are, of course, some negatives. So for an implant, it feels different than a natural breast. It feels like a silicone implant. While some people like that, it can be a little bit firmer and it can be a little bit uncomfortable for some patients. Probably the biggest negative related to implants is, unfortunately, we call them a permanent implant, but there's really no such thing as a permanent implant. So at some point, these implants will fail. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We typically quote a 10 to 12 year uh, survival for these implants. So for a lot of patients, and as we start diagnosing earlier and earlier cancers and younger patients with genetics and such, these patients are looking at surgeries later in life regarding their breast and their reconstruction. So we do have to think about that.